I created a roadmap to personal success and world peace. They will get you there. They both things happen together. And I'll explain that. So first of all, let's talk about personal success. So I had to look that up. What would cause you to feel personally successful or experience that in your life and um, and really feel that? And so I was doing a search to see what those qualities might be. We know about self-actualization and we even know about ascension. We know all of those things. But I said, what is the most important factor to someone living a great life. And the first thing that came up was mindset. I said, oh, okay, I've been doing that one for a really long time because everything that I have written, everything that I've ever received was about mindset. And then the next one was self-awareness. Well, yeah, same thing. The thing that I've been working on for so long in my life was becoming self-aware. And that's exactly what I wrote. And then the next thing was intentional action. I had to do a lot of that. And this is the work that I have in my program. I have my clients doing intentional action. And then the other thing was gratitude. And most people didn't understand why that one was so important, but we're doing that kind of work as well, because see, that's about consciousness. We only experience our lives in through our consciousness. And so then the last one was adaptability. And I said, that's been my life. I have been able to shift from one place to the other so easily. Couldn't understand why I was doing that, except I am a double Scorpio. So that's about transformation. That's what I've done my entire life. And so I started looking at this and I started looking at our world and I said, oh, I've got to do a little bit more now because I do have that. Now, I will never cause everyone to believe that. Because people will hear this and think that's absolutely impossible. And that's the limitation that exists within us. That's the limitation that exists within each individual and in our world. But I can see it all and I know that it's possible. I even know what's going to be happening throughout the rest of this year in our world, which is why I am making changes. Because we have to step up to who we are meant to become, each person, so that we create a, a different world. And see, when I received all this information, and then I was told that this would be for use during this period of transition, which I called restructuring or ascension or whatever you might want to think of it, planetary ascension, because that's what's going on. But I also think it is a global spiritual <laughs> evolution. That's what's really happening. Not everybody's going to do it, though. And that's the place we're going to be. We're going to have to choose what we believe. We're going to have to choose what we believe is the truth for us. And that's an internal process. No one can tell you that. See, with all of those things that I mentioned, those are the general things that are there. But I happen to believe that it's more than that that you have this spiritual obligation, let's say. That's why you were born. Each one of us was born to bring something into the world that would cause our lives to become better and also then the world. But we don't always remember that or we fight against it. And I fought against it for years, so I do understand. But I walk the walk. And so people will say, well, how could you know that this would work? Because I lived it. I went through every tragedy, every difficulty. I've gone through every kind of social change that our world has ever seen. So I am aware I'm old enough now. I'm 73. So I've lived through a lot of it. And now I'm a little tired of it. <laughs> That's where we are. And so, but now I know that I can make this greater difference. And if I'm not doing that, how can I expect the world to change? How can you expect the world to change if you're not becoming who you were meant to be? And that's the work that I'm doing. Um, I'm doing a channeling session on Thursday for the full moon, in which I have a Leo moon, and this uh, full moon is going to be in Leo. So it's going to be pretty powerful. But I'm also making changes. And the reason I'm making changes is because for four years, I have been, I have been like just dabbling and figuring out, is this really going to do the job? And then what I saw is that people are coming out of this work feeling so much more themselves, finding their purpose, becoming happy, moving through trauma. And so I'm thinking, if more people would do that, don't you think we would have a different world? Don't you think that oh, eventually, when we give that information to our children, that we would do something different? See, because what happened as a result of all the work that I have been channeling and receiving since 1988, I healed my life. I don't have that anger 
I don't have that. I, I don't have that lack of confidence that I experienced throughout my entire life. This is why I had so much fear, why I had to write the book on fear, because I had to move through that. And when you look at all the different things that we have to accomplish in our lives, like, who am I supposed to be? Why do I feel different than everyone else? Why do people think I'm different? Why am I struggling so much in my life? All of those are connected to who you were meant to be. And I feel that that is your authentic self, which is connected to source, to God, to all that is, and everybody has it. We just have to move through all of the drama. And so when I was given this information, it said, what your world is going to move through are great choices you're going to have to make, and you're going to see all of them. Globally, we're making these choices. We're making choices whether we want to live in democracies or have autocracies and dictators. Those are the choices that we will be making, and you can see in countries all over. That's what's going on. This is an energetic change that is occurring in our world. We didn't know this was going to happen. I didn't know it was going to happen. I didn't even know that I had developed the work that would help us move through this period, but I have, and that's what I have to own now. So in 2021, when I first put this out, I had all of this doubt. I, you know, I talked about this. I, it was so inexpensive um, because I just wanted people to see, I just wanted to see what would happen. And people who did that now are off and running and they're doing something great. The only person who didn't succeed with this was me because I didn't charge enough money. And I talked about that before. And it was in this last video that I found last couple of months from two, a year ago and two years ago said the same thing because I knew how valuable this work was. But to get others to understand that was really challenging. And then also I have this horrible thing that I have lived with my entire life that I think I can help everyone. And I can't. I just have to accept that. And so I said a long time ago, I said, if I were charging $5,000, everybody would be in this program. But what I'm doing, I am changing that and I will be charging $5,000. So that's what's happening. But up until that point, um, until the end of this month, people can still come in and get the first part of this program, which is called Four Weeks to Your Best Life, and it changes your life. You can, you'll have it forever. You can come back, uh, do it as much as you want, and it changes your life. If you do the 31 assignments and come to a coaching call, group coaching call, when, you know, come to several of them. And I'm guaranteeing you, if you do that, your life has changed. And I said this before, it's less than $500, and you can even pay it in payments. Now, I will never convince you that it would work, but what I want you to do is listen to the other people who have done it already, and then you will know. Because I can't sell this, as I've said before, because that doesn't work. You have to want to become who you know you can become. But it's a process of walking through, moving through the limitations that exist in our consciousness. And I know this because I've done it. I've healed everything. I understood mind-body connection. I've moved through depression. I've moved through um, all kinds of illnesses and difficulties to be here now completely whole. So I know what it can do. I just can't convince others of that. But I also cannot hold myself back by trying to convince others. So we have to decide that we're going to pull ourselves up by our bootstraps and do what we came to do. Um, and I'm saying this because I had to explain to so many other people why I could not do all of the other programs, do other, other things. I couldn't do all of that because I have so much of this work this philosophy to put together and 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 a book that i'm doing because all the members who come in before the end of the uh, month will have that book all the members in my program will have the full book it's a full year of all of these this information because it's all mindset work and when you work through it your brain is changed you start to evolve it's an ascension journey as i explained before because we do ascend we ascend ascend in our individual in our lives individually if we decide to do that but also in our world collectively everyone's not going to do that and this is what we're going to experience this year we're going to have a lot of anger we're going to have a lot of hatred we're going to have more of that stuff and then we're going to come to a place of loving who we are and then we can change things that's why this is a path to personal success and world peace because we have to come to the place of understanding that every single soul has something to offer we won't get there this year 
We won't get there for a while, but we can start working on it. And those of us who know this can do even more. And that's what I'm doing. See you guys soon.